Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the Beta channel, which is the build 22622.450. This is a smaller build that Microsoft released today for the Beta channel. In this video, we're going to talk about briefly what is new, what is changed, and what is fixed. If you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel because it helps me out a lot. So let's begin with the video. I'm not going to talk about the Beta channel again. I'm not going to explain it again. If if you want to see the beta channel explained, go ahead and access the link below for the article that will be on the website. There at the beginning of the article, I explain step by step how is the beta channel working nowadays. So this build for the beta channel only includes some fixes for both builds that were released 22621 and 22622. As I've said, if you want to see the difference between these two, go ahead and check out the article below in the description. Microsoft enhanced Microsoft Defender for Endpoint's ability to identify an intercept ransomware and advanced attacks. That is really, really nice. I think uh, Microsoft Defender was already doing a good job, but if they enhanced this, I think this is great news. They also compressed a file regardless of its size if you have configured server message block SMB compression. Also, Microsoft improved storage replication that occurs over low bandwidth or congested wide area networks RAM. And they also fixed an issue that causes Windows to display tablet mode features for some devices that do not have touch screens. They also also fix an issue that causes some application windows to have blank sections in the task view preview and also an issue that occurs for some of insiders when they copy files from network drives was fixed the error code 0x800726 they also fixed a token leak issue in the lsap get client info ex and they also fixed an issue that in certain cases causes sihost.exe to use a high amount of the cpu and lastly microsoft fixed an issue that causes microsoft edge to stop responding when you use the IE mode. This issue also prevents you from interacting with the dialogue. So basically, this is all there is to it for this better channel build. If you want to see the known issues for this build, you can go ahead and check out the article below in the description. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated because it helps me out a lot. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.